everybody. Today I'm going to review this um, 150 slot pencil case. Um, in the first part of this video, not counting this one, you'll hear me talking about a color along and you won't see it until then, blah blah blah. I hadn't originally planned on reviewing this, but then I actually looked up reviews and I seen that there was reviews for a few different pencil cases, but not this one. So I figured I have it. Um, I show I videotaped the unboxing of it. Why not do a review on it? So we'll show the unboxing and then we'll get down to the review. Um, never mind what I said about that color along. If you're curious, visit my channel. It's for um, a Hannah Lynn coloring book. Uh, if it's your thing, go and check it out. If not, no big deal. Just stay tuned to watch the review on this pencil case. Let's just dive right in here. I'm sorry if my camera jumps around a little bit. This box is huge and I had to kind of set my, what I call my camera cage, um, up on the box. So I'm hoping it doesn't fall off and send my phone flying. One thing before we open it, I will show you what it is. So this is a 152 slot pencil case. Um, it's sold by Top Ray, but I noticed that there is a few different sellers of similar pencil cases. Um, I paid $33 for this. They are a little expensive. Oh, that's Canadian as you can see. They are a little bit expensive, but I have a feeling they're going to be totally worth it. I've also noticed that there's two different kinds of pencil cases. This is the kind that I got. It's got, you can open it and then it's got two flaps that open as well. But if we search for 150 slot pencil cases, and they also make 160 slot pencil cases too. Um, see, I went for one that was sold by Amazon so that I could get the uh, free shipping on the orders over I think it's like 25 or 30 maybe because I also got Hannah Lynn's new book I Dream in Color as well. So yes I paid 32 for that and see this one here sold by Bitsky that is just like a book um, it doesn't have the flaps that fold open it just has different um, flaps that just turn like a book does. So those ones are a little bit more expensive. Um, I will leave a link to the um, to this pencil case that I got and to one of the book pencil cases. Um, it'll be an Amazon.ca link but if you're in the UK or the US you can just search for 150 or 160 slot pencil cases and they should come up. So now that I've done the cutting on this, I'm going to get rid of my cage and hopefully we got it most of the way through. I love this wrapping stuff. I actually, I keep it. Different projects or it's good for if you're painting and you don't want to get paint on your desk or you could just use cardboard like me. I've got my painting cardboard on my desk right now. Here it is, pencil holder in black. Now it's definitely going to save me some room because here is my Prisma box. Let's get this out of the way. So here's my Prisma box sitting up here. See, so I have my desk here, and then I've got my little shelf that used to be for plants, but I gave them all to my mom. Gonna sit pretty much like right like that, I think. So it's gonna save me a little bit of room. I won't have to have stuff so smushed over here. This part drives me crazy. It's too disorganized. Also, 
for those wondering, this is a 72 pencil case holder. I have my scholars in here and then some of the uh, Prismas that I bought open stock I put in my um, 150 set and these are just the spares that came with 150. So yeah, these are pretty cute cases too. It only holds 72 though. Nice, big, sturdy zipper, it looks like. And it's got this handle here, which is nice for if you want to carry it. I was under the impression, let's see here, I was under the impression that it was supposed to have a strap that you could clip for traveling. Not that I travel or anything, but let's see here. Yeah, it shows it with a strap. Maybe it doesn't come with it on this one. No, it does show that it comes with a strap. Maybe it's on the inside. This is a little tricky to do one-handed. Oh yeah, there it is. Awesome, so it comes with a strap that's adjustable. And... You just clip it to the rings on the outside, just like that, and then you could put it over your shoulder for easy carrying. So that's that's pretty neat. I like that. That's a nice option to have. It's a fairly big case. I have a fairly big desk. I'm not sure of the dimensions, but it does take up quite a bit of space. But that's totally fine. I just love this. So, on to the review portion of this video. So, I bought this pencil case from Top Ray, but it's also available from... I guess I should turn on my Wi-Fi first. It's also available from Mono Shop. Um, I think uh, New Atop sells it as well. So this is kind of like the Marco Rafine pencils. They sell it under a bunch of different names. Um, I just bought from Top Ray because um, it was offered through Amazon Prime, so I was able to get free shipping since my order was over the minimum amount. Um, now this pencil case claims to hold 150 pencils, um, elastic straps, uh, it says it has a handy design and compact size, we'll talk about that in a little bit, um, offers great protection, I won't deny that, um, it actually comes with a strap for traveling that you can clip onto these little, um, I'm not sure what these are called, these little metal pieces here, you can clip that on there and it um, acts as like a sash to carry the bag with. Um, it's adjustable, which is nice. Um, it says the pencil case has compartments. It's a multi-layer design to make it easy to organize and group pencils. Once you unzip it, you have access to all pages and colors. Which is awesome. Now, I personally really like this pencil case. Uh, you guys will have to bear with me because this thing is huge, so I'm going to have to hold my phone slash camera. I use my phone for my camera. If you don't watch my color alongs, you wouldn't know that. Um... I do have all my pencils in here. I purchased this to store my Prisma Premier so I could get this box off my shelf here. Um, once you have your pencils in there, there's really not much expanding room. They definitely only give you the minimum amount of space to store the 150 pencils. Um, let's 
got a pretty sturdy zipper. I'd say it would last for quite a while. Um, one thing I don't like is that the zipper goes all the way down here, so when you close it, it's kind of hard to, you know, grab it out of there. But I mean, that's minimal. Since I'm doing a review, I'm going to be really picky. Honestly, I'm super impressed with this pencil case, and I won't complain too much. But for review sakes, let's let's nitpick at it. So there are a few different styles of cases. This one is the one that opens up on each side. You can also get ones for a little bit higher price that flip open like a book instead of flipping like this. So it'll have different pages coming off the middle. Um, now a few things that I noticed when I was putting on my pencils. They actually have these two extra little pencil slots on each side. So technically this would hold um, 154 pencils. But I don't think they include that in there because they're kind of... Well, it's easier to get it in the first slot. This, the second slot up here is a little tricky to get it past that uh, the lip of the... I don't know what you'd call that. The case cover. So if you had a, a few extras or like blender pencils or whatnot, you could actually hold them in there too. So it's technically 154. I don't know why they wouldn't mention that. Um, the bands are really nice, um, you can easily grab pencils out of here, and you can easily place them back in. So it is extremely accessible, especially depending on how you organize yours. I went a little OCD. Um, closing it is my only complaint really, because you have to fidget with these, the, the, the casing of the case itself. You have to tuck it around on both sides, and maybe the more you use it, the easier that'll be, but for now it's pretty stiff. You've got to really dig your fingers in there and pull it up. And then from there on, closing it is fairly easy, aside from grabbing that zipper, so... Oh, that's... yeah, that's tricky. So I think what I'm going to do is they do give you this little... Um, the hole punched out of the top of the zipper there, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get one of those little, um, oh, I don't know what you call them, but like they're the little things that you can get on a string that you could like tie to your cell phone or to a zipper or whatnot. I actually have a little domo on my wallet. I'll probably take it off of there and put it on here for now anyways. Something kind of similar to these, except using a little string to wrap around the zipper piece instead of metal. So, all in all, I think they did a really good job building this pencil case. Um, it's very nice, it's very big, it does hold the pencils very well. Um, if I had to make suggestions to them, I would just ask for a little bit more playroom in the, the width of it. I wish that they'd have made the flaps a little bit longer just to give you a little bit more leeway so you didn't have to do this every time. And it's okay as long as you just use the top two, but as soon as you open it, that's when you have to put this back around it. But anyways, I think this is a great pencil case and if you're looking for a pencil case, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, the other ones that flip like a book, if you'd prefer that, are usually about six bucks cheaper. I'll put links in the description for uh, both kinds of pencil cases. Um, I can't speak for the quality and whatnot of the book flip ones, but I'm sure that they are just as good. Um, I hope this review helps you make a choice. Uh, be sure to check out other reviews on YouTube, because there are tons of different pencil cases out there. Uh, this was just one of the cheaper ones I could find. Um, there's also ones that hold 160 pencils um, instead of 150, although unless you have spare Prismas, I don't really know of any other um, pencil sets that have more than 150 colors. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. Alright, bye!